What's up, everybody? It's Roger and Victoria here from the This Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Han Solo and movie. And basically, it seems like it's all gone wrong in the last week um, because the directors that were running it have quit due to um, creative differences. And now Ron Howard has stepped in to take over. Um, what did you think of all this? Um, I was actually kind of surprised. I thought it was going very well. I thought all the shooting and production was going very well. This hit me really for a curveball, so I was kind of panicking at first. I was like, what are they going to do? What's happening? And thankfully, Ron Howard stepped in. Mm. Apparently, um, the uh, Lucasfilm, um, Kathleen Kennedy said, at Lucasfilm, we believe the highest goal of each film is to delight, carry forward the spirit of the saga that George Lucas began 40 years ago. With that in mind, we're thrilled to announce that Ron Howard will step in to direct the untitled Han Solo movie. It's a wonderful script and it's an incredible cast and crew and it's set to um, to be released May 25th, 2018. And apparently there is still um, at least three to five weeks worth of shooting left so that they need to do um, because of the two guys have sort of quit. Um, there's also the thing as well of will he do reshoots? Will he change things up? It definitely sounds as if maybe Disney and these um, guys... Um, Phil Lord and Chris Miller who previously did the um, Lego movie um, doesn't sound like they maybe were all on the same page yeah based on what I read um, I believe this was from the Huffington Post but there was definitely creative differences with Kathleen and the directors they wanted more of a you know comedic feel whereas they want Kathleen and the Star Wars side wanted you know a little bit more serious which mm. like I can see a blended good mix of both but they just wanted strictly comedy yeah well and to be honest for me it's that point of you know with the script and with you know star wars is it, this is a major franchise they this is their this is star wars disney's you know they are looking at this as, as the long haul and it's odd that this has happened um it's generally never a good sign that you know a movie kind of goes through this much stuff we've you know you know we've heard of, i'm just trying to think of recently of like issues you know i know ant-man had issues with its director and they ended up taking that off and somebody else took over but i think that was before it started shooting a different script and then also i think even fantastic four the last one of them which is that's never a good sign um that had problems with the director as well um but the only good thing is ron howard is a definitely what you call a stable hand this is a guy he's been around a long time i mean i remember him from happy days but um he you know he's done lots of movies you know he's done space stuff he is he's been a he's, he's like i think they've said he's a a stable hand to kind of basically i think just do the job no i feel like he has the experience he knows what he's doing Probably i wouldn't have wanted to see a han solo movie that's just straight comedy anyway I don't think any other Star Wars fan would either. Yeah. I mean, looking at this, you know, he's he's won Oscars. He did The Beautiful Mind. He did Frost Nixon. So he's done he's done some serious ones. I'm um, looking at some of his other movies. The Dark Tower, which is out later this year. Um, he's done Inferno. Let's uh, look in here. Curious George Free, Back to the Jungle. Oh, no, he's an executive there. So um, let's see in here. Director. He also did... Um, oh, no, he's... Again, he wasn't a director of The Dark Tower. He did Rush. He did um, seen here Angels and Demons. I never did like the, the Da Vinci Codes. Um, the, let's see, yeah. Oh, the How the Grinch Stole Christmas. One of my favorite movies of all time. Oh, um, I didn't know he did that one. Apollo thirteen, um, Backdraft, uh, Parenthood, um, Willow. So you know this guy. He's you know Splash Cocoon. He's he's had his hand in um, sci-fi in big franchises but also at the same point he's got to basically clear up whatever's going on tidy things up i wouldn't be at all surprised if there's lots of reshoots lots of jigging around um apparently some people say you know they've been they've been shooting for nearly four months of footage so you know he's going to look at this and go how much of this can i use is there going to be certain things he's going to want to redo or will it just be would he just be a yes man to to disney i don't know it's very messy it's certainly it's it's going to put this whole movie on a big sh um, light. And if it's not very good, people are going to blame whatever's been going on. And then they'll be like, well, if the two guys had done their thing, it would have been better. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, because Star Wars fans take it very seriously. I know I don't take it as personal because, I mean, I love Star Wars, but 
they take that to heart. If you ruin anything with Star Wars, they will never forgive you. Never. No. And this, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Judge Jar Binks. Um, it's definitely that kind of thing of, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be different. I do think, I, to me, the thing that Ron Howard is doing it, I, there is almost that kind of thing of, oh, he's he's a, he's a well known, very well respected, knows what he's doing. If he he will, be, I mean, it's good the fact that he didn't have another. He must have had something else going on, um, to do this. Maybe Disney kind of sweet the deal goes. Look, you fix this. We'll give you some money for another movie. Um, yeah, I just think this is it's never good. But Ron Howard instantly just jumped out to me as going, okay, they put this in a stable guy's hand. This is nothing. You know, they're not taking any risks with this one. Yeah, I feel like, I mean. Certain risks should be taken, just not with something like this. Yeah, yeah, you don't do it with you. Do, you can't do it with stuff. I think after the success of Rogue One, and also, I think Disney are looking at this like Han Solo reboot as a reboot to, you know, do multiple movies off of. So they need to get that. You know, this is a, a cinematic universe that they need to get right, and they don't want it um, being messed up. And because I think even didn't Rogue One had to go through quite a lot of reshoots. I mean, that turned out really good. I mean, it reshoots did. don't automatically mean the movie's dreadful. This, they're just trying to fix it. Well, sometimes things do need fixing. No, it's true because, I mean, Wonder Woman went through a few reshoots and it's one of the highest grossing movies played by a woman director of all time. I mean, I know that's DC, but yes. it's good to point that out. <laughs> yes. I must admit, I went from... One in the seat at the cinema to I'll see it at the cinema to oh I've gone past three four weeks and now I just wait for it to come out on Blu-ray because um, you kind of get past that thing and I think especially the speed they come out and that's oh they'll be out in a couple of months but we'd love to know what you guys think of the, the, what's going on with Han Solo movie I mean we still don't have a name for that yet hopefully we'll find that out at the D23 Expo coming up soon as well. Um, you can, as I said, you can get in touch with us to different methods. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can find us over on the audio version as well, so you can feel free to leave us a review there. And then finally, where can they find you, Victoria? They can find me on Twitter at he calls me PP and Instagram he calls me Pineapple Princess. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon. Later. Bye.